we woke up in Cabela's parking lot here in Indianapolis, Indiana. Mm -hmm. And first we're gonna go inside, check it out. Then we're gonna head up the road just a little bit. This is the motorhome experiment. Man, it is bright out here this morning. <laughs> Can't even see. It's so bright. We spent the night at Cabela's and now we're just going in to do a little supporting. Lori made the mistake of walking in here yesterday and saw a shirt she liked. Yeah, you can't have too many. Sometimes you have to rotate them. You gotta rotate some of the shirts every now and then. No, I love when people comment about the fact that I'm wearing the same shirt because I have a closet that's like two feet wide and can fit four shirts. That's not true. We can fit more than that, but... He can fit a lot more, but he chooses to have a lot of other stuff in his closet, like the drone. Yeah, there's more important stuff to put in your closet, like, like a, a drone. Guitar he doesn't play. A guitar that, yeah, I don't know how to play, but. Always try to support wherever we stay overnight, and not all the time. We spend enough money in Cabela's that we don't have to, to do it every single time we come, but we do like to go in every now and then. So we went inside, Lori needed a, a new shirt, has to well, do some of that changing out stuff. It was not needed, it's one of those things It's not needed, but <laughs> we went there last night and there's one shirt just caught my attention and it was on sale, You're, so we're saving money. You told me it was needed. We're saving money, so. Oh, saving money by buying stuff on sale. But now we're gonna roll up the road, or actually roll down the road just a little bit. We're gonna be spending the next three nights or four nights, three nights, at the KOA here in Indianapolis, and we're gonna check out Indianapolis, so let's do that. Let's do it. Oh, by the way, it's a beautiful day in mid-October here in Indiana. Yeah, absolutely Surprising. gorgeous. If you're wondering how nice the weather is, check out this restaurant here, October in Indiana, and they've got all the side open of the restaurant. Kind of cool. These Cabela's was super handy to, there's a mall right next to it and right next to the freeway. So it was, a, it's an easy in, easy out. And in front of us, there is a movie theater. So we went last night and saw a movie, The Kingsman. Oh, it was so good. <laughs> Should I go right or left here? Left. Left. Yes, The Kingsman Golden Circle. Another great movie I highly recommend. Unless you don't like language and violence. Yeah. Or not that you like it, if you don't mind it. I wouldn't say that I, I like language and violence, it just doesn't bother me. I just don't think there was bad language in it. There was no bad language in it? Almost no bad language. Every second word out of the kid's mouth is F this, F that. Oh well, yeah, but he's, <laughs> with a but, British tone, doesn't count. Oh, and he's, <laughs> as long as you say it with a British accent? Doesn't count. Oh just, man. Too cute of an accent. So not true. What is happening guys and gals? I don't know what's going on with this video other than the fact that there seems to be some missing clips. I don't know if I didn't film or whether I lost them or deleted them accidentally. I don't know, but I had no footage going into the Indianapolis KOA. I've got no footage of Daniela and Seth at the campfire. I thought we filmed something while we were, they were there, but I don't have that. So Danielle and Seth, I apologize. And yeah, so the next couple of days we worked a little bit, but uh, we did have this happen the next day. They were clearing the field behind us. It was quite the mess. Come on in before the dust storm hits. I know, let me close the bedroom windows. Close the bedroom windows, whoa! Yeah, look at the dust storm coming. Holy smokes. <laughs> and after that, we worked, I think, for another day or so, and then we decided to venture off into Indianapolis. And I think, as far as I know right now, anyways, the video should be good to go from here on in. We've been hanging out here just outside of Indianapolis for a couple of days now and getting a little bit of work done. Got a radio installed and some things, and now we're going to head into Indianapolis, check it out and uh, bicycle around a little bit. It's a little windy, so that's why we decided to start in here today. And uh, see what other trouble we can get into in Indianapolis. Ready? Let's do this. Yeah. Unfortunately, there's no races run this weekend, so the Indianapolis Speedway would be cool. I think we're burned out on car museums for a little bit. So I doubt we're gonna do the car museum, but gotta be something to do. 
I don't think you're ever burned out of car museums. Yeah, I'm not burned out of car museums. But. <laughs> it's Sunday afternoon and the campground has emptied out a bunch. You see that rig? It's a fifth wheel pulling a trailer. And again, Danielle and Seth, who are residents of Indiana, said that's legal here. That's pretty crazy. In most states it's legal. Most. Most states? That's crazy. I don't know if I think that's a good idea. I mean, it's probably a good idea if you're the person that's doing it, but I don't think that's a good idea. All right, we've arrived in downtown Indianapolis, got the car parked. There's a vent today, so parking's expensive everywhere, like 20 bucks, but we're parked, got the bikes. Now we're gonna venture off into Indianapolis. You ready? Yep, let's go. Cool. Okay, we're biking around Indianapolis and we happened upon this, so we're gonna go. Never been to an NFL game before, so. Yep. from some people about you know supporting the NFL but here's my take on the whole national anthem thing stand up put your hand on your heart and respect the flag simple as that all the other political bullshit I don't care about that so we're just here having some fun supporting the local economy in Indianapolis like it or not row one 12 and 13 Okay, it's the end of the first half, and the Colts are getting their butts kicked right now, 20 to nothing. And the crowd is not happy about it. The little kids are playing against the mascots. quarter the Colts were getting beat 26 zip when we left and the fans are not happy the local fans are just bailing on them not a good day for the Colts that was pretty cool Obviously, we left the Indianapolis Colts game and we're now here in downtown Indianapolis on the canal and what's called the Canal Walk or the Downtown Canal. And it's also the White River State Park. Uh, yeah. I think White River State Park. And uh, we're gonna take a little bike ride through downtown and see what's going on. It looks like it's a really cool place. A 
along the canal here in Indianapolis is this dedication and memorial to the USS Indianapolis. Pretty cool stuff. So this bike trail we're on here, Lori says it's called the Cultural Trail or something like that. And as you ride along, there's these various stops that tells you a little bit about certain people of history. And this one that I happen to stop at, the Wright Brothers. And it's actually the Cultural Trail, not something like that. <laughs> Just saying. Oh, okay. Very cool. This little park here that we're riding around is in downtown Indianapolis and it's a memorial to those who died in our world wars. Very, very cool. Very cool area. And I have to say, Indianapolis or Indy, how they call it here, it's very bicycle friendly. So bring your bicycles and bicycle around. Yep. There you go. That's my kind of party, but pull us and drink. And most of my friends don't drink, so I'm alone in this. I was gonna say, but then they have to pedal to have fun, but. Cool. A lot of life in downtown Indianapolis. Pretty cool. All right, we had a good time biking downtown Indianapolis and we're burning daylight, so we need to head back to the campground, but we need to make one more stop before we go if we can. Okay. We're not a stop really, maybe just a drive-by. Okay. All right. All right, we are here at the Indianapolis Speedway, the racing capital of the world. The museum is closed, but we heard some cars racing, so we asked the security guard if we could check it out quick, and he said yes, we could. So, that's what we're going to do. Good morning, everybody. We are rolling out of the KOA campground here just outside of Indianapolis. It's just east of Indianapolis on Interstate 70. It was a great stay. Other than getting dusted by the soybean combine, but other than that, it was a, it was a good stay. It wasn't that bad. But it's not like that happens no. every weekend. No. And very, very nice campground. It got busy on the weekend and then cleared out here during the week. The staff was so friendly. It so was nice, helpful, insane. Friendly. They come and pick up your garbage once a day. They uh, deliver firewood. Yeah, yeah so. very, very cool campground. Starting to restore my faith 
in KOAs again. The last couple of KOAs we stayed at have been pretty decent. Like we had in overall, in general, like good experience with KOAs, but it was in Avi. In Laughlin. In Laughlin, close to Laughlin in Nevada. That we had a horrible, not a bad, a horrible experience. So after that, we decided not to stay in KOAs. We boycotted them for almost a year. Well, yeah, because we reported it to actual the headquarters, how you call it. And they didn't do anything. They didn't even reply to us. Yeah, they so, just went. Eh. So at that point, we were like, okay, we get it. You want our business? Goodbye. But we had the need to stay on KOAs, and it's been okay. So yeah, the last KOA seemed to be handy to where we were going. That's why we chose the KOAs. And it has been good. I will say Indianapolis was actually pretty fun. We had a, a good time there. And uh, going to see an unexpected NFL game, which we've never done before. Uh, we were just biking in downtown, saw there was a game on, and decided why not. Uh, we got to meet a very nice couple, Daniela and Seth. They were awesome, gave us some information on what to see and do in downtown, so that was cool. And, uh, yeah, no, I'm gonna go out through here. We're going to 40s. Oh, that's right, we are going to go that way. Shoot, too late. He never listens to me, that's what I'm talking about. No, it's not that I didn't listen to you, I forgot which way we were going. As what does happen with us every now and then, we've got a little bit of a change of plans. We had so many people mentioning the Air Museum in Dayton, Ohio, that uh, we decided that we had to make the trip. We were gonna head straight down out of Indianapolis into the Nashville area, but too many people talking about the, I think it's the Wright Air Force Museum, Wright Air Force Base and Museum, and we had to go. So we're gonna head over to Dayton, Ohio. We are also gonna check out more Wright Brothers stuff while we're over there, because that's the home of the Wright Brothers. And uh, that's probably where we're gonna end our day today, so. Oh yeah, we're gonna back road it again today. We can take Interstate 70 all the way across, but we're not gonna do that. There's too much pretty farmland to drive through here. Pretty good day for traveling. Not a great day for going outside and shooting anything. You see it's rainy and nasty. We're in Pequa, Ohio now. And this is where we're going to spend the night, get a little bit of work done, and then tomorrow we're gonna venture over to Jackson Center, I believe it's called, and check out the Airstream factory. So that should be cool, that'll be fun. So this is where we're gonna call this video. You'll catch up to us at the Airstream factory in the next one. If this is your first time here, it'd be awesome if you subscribe to the channel. It'd be equally as cool if you liked the video and we'll see you again in the next one. Bye now. Ozzy and I, we say goodbye. He's chilling. He's just chilling. He just woke up from a long winter's nap. Ozzy, your He's fans saying, would hey, like you to, hey, hey, open your eyes. Pay attention. No. no. <laughs> Nah, he's still tired. Ozzy. <laughs> Are you awake? <laughs> this is where we're going to call this one. We really appreciate you guys watching. If this is your first time here, it'd be awesome if you subscribe to the channel, step to date on all of our awkwardness. That was really weird, and I don't like that. I was going to say, repeat that one. Yeah. <laughs>